Alive. Krix's ghost can keep waiting. No tears for the old. Got the others to worry about. Messed up on this one, friend. Usually the last guy to get out drawn. Back at you. Well, let's get going. Oh, thank the stars beyond. He, he came out of nowhere. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I can move right away. But I'll make it. Go on. You're all right. Bad 
just had it. I'll be all right. Go and help the others. I hear constellation has been connected.
got work to do. This cargo's not gonna haul itself. to the lodge. Make sure everyone's safe.
Chicago. Scan complete. You're cleared to land at New Atlantis. Hey, Barrett. Barrett, can you hear me? It's Sam. We're... We're gonna find all those artifacts. Okay, Barrett? We'll solve this mystery. I swear. He's... He's gone. Come on. Let's get going. It's not changing anything now. I appear to only be seriously damaged instead of critically damaged. Fortunate that you are likewise relatively undamaged is also preferable to the alternative. It went <clears throat> quickly after you left. We held him off while Noel escaped through the basement. There's a door that leads to the well district. Took you long enough. She might still be in danger. There's a secret door in the basement. Leads right to the well district. That would have been the safest route for her to run.
stay back. I'll... Oh, thank God. Thank God, thank God, thank God. I still have the artifacts, but where do we take them? Oh, there you are. I wasn't expecting you to run to the eye. You! You're not getting the artifacts. <laughs> yes. Let's see if they can slip from my grasp this time, shall we?
you're back. Thank the Blackest Sea that you and Noel are safe. And the artifacts? The lodge. So, we slip from the Starborn's grasp, but not before taking a stab straight in the heart. We... Uh, we need to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the Eye are not secure. Got the right of it. The hunter, he, um... Uh... He probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area, just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fringe, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. clear from the few encounters we've had that the artifacts are all the Starborn prize. They could come after us, though. Try to find out where we put them. Need to take the risk. The eye, the equipment in the lodge, not easily moved. Gotta hope whatever is giving the hunter pause applies to the hole. Just need to make another direct hit less the jackpot. Let's talk to Vladimir. You're back. Thank the Blackest Sea. The guilt ridden spray. We... Just means he's playing the waiting man. The hunter, he, um... But the fact that they're competing... So we put the art... Fine idea. Starborn show up, you can burn helium in one spin of the grab drive to anywhere. Here, keep the artifacts safe. I guess we'll meet back at the lodge after. The sooner we get to Montero Luna, the better. See you. We should be heading back.
There are a few injuries that can't be addressed here. Welcome to a real Well, you've certainly come to the right... May you remain in good health. If I may, I know our encounter with the Hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. Unity. Do you remember that? Because he was stopping us, implying that we were getting closer to it. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look. I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but why not talk to him? I guess it couldn't hurt. I've heard the Keeper's a pretty insightful guy. Thank you. I know it's not much to go on, but something about this feels right. I'll meet you over there. I've uh, got some stuff on my mind, when you have the time. <sighs> to think the Lodge turned into a battlefield. I'm not sure when things will feel safer. But we have not been attacked again. Hey, you dropped it. Wait, you meant to do that?
Sorry, but I need sign off from you. Exactly. It's like, like. Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Ah, oh, Mateo. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? Oh. Yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you two here? They're like nothing we've ever seen, Keeper. Gravitational distortion, sub-audio harmonic sequencing, unidentifiable energy fluctuations. Uh, I caught half of that. So, these things are unusual? Even in your experience? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet, the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path of discovering its meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but Maybe it's more. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? Yes, something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. The Enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. Varun worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the Keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions.
time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. number of social programs from financial aid to food banks if it's about the financial or food assistance programs we are backlogged don't worry we're doing everything we can oh we're not sorry can I help you it's actually important as strange as that may seem Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a unity pilgrim. But since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year, same conversation every time, second person this, the problem of do that. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. Could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Visitor? I have all the company I need. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. I never can make heads or tails of these guys. The Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. It would be really helpful if you told us about it. If that even matters in the slightest to you. Yes, I have spoken to your keeper about this. I will tell you what I told him. And then you will leave me. Jinan Varun meets the unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent. He does not hesitate. He cuts the unbeliever down, but the unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. 
But Chinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. Then we are done. Leave me. You got time for a quick chat? I'd appreciate it when you're able. Got some stuff on my mind when you have the time. Bank. Can you smell the rampant capitalism? You're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories, like we thought? Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. What else did you learn? If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum, at 4 and 120. That's where you'll find the Pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? Ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity is also a force that brings things together. Should that be sanctified? And so you think this word unity describes a similar miracle? The processes of the universe are all in accordance with some greater intent. This, uh, this is all a bit above my pay grade. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. I could, uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment.
Time to tell Cora we're back.